weird, it's a size 14 checkup by Fulling Mill, although you can tie those up to size 8, 10, whatever you like. On today I'm going to tie a 12 0 nano silk in white. I'm just going to start by putting a bed down ready for the, uh, the lead wire to go onto. I am now going to go right the way down the hook and stop roughly at the point where I want the body to stop, just to set those parameters for me early on. So I'm going to come right down there now and just stop, just there, not too far towards the hook point. And then come right back up the top, ready to whip finish and cut the thread off to put the lead wrap on. Just a nice little cut in there. Now it's a flat lead I'm going to use for this. Um, as I put this lead on, I'm not going to be as neat with it as I normally am because of a little trick I'm going to show you next. So I'm making sure it's all touching turns and not overlapping. I'm relatively tight. Like so. Just leaving some room either side of that thread parameters that I've set earlier. And pinching it off. Like so. Now from here, and this is the beauty of sharing with other tyres, um, I'm going to get, it's actually PTFE plumber's tape from the Semperfly fly jam, this tip. So from here I'm just going to cut a little piece off. And wrap that lead. And cover it all. From here just pull nice and tight to tighten it all down and snip off. And again the same at the head of the fly here. Just going to snip this off for ease. And straight away then you've secured the lead, it won't move up and down the hook. And when you put the thread on, it doesn't dig in between the layers of the lead. And leaves a lovely clean body to tie onto. So I'll come back in again at the head here to secure the thread and go over that lead as you can see the thread's not digging into that lead body anymore. We're just going to come down snip the tag end off before we get to the end of the fly. And we're just going to work our way down like so. I'm going to move the hook now just to make things a little easier by repositioning the hook. And I'm going to come in with Semperfly's new product, this brilliant um, metallic silly leg material. Normally you're using this for streamers and things like that, but I've come up with a new use here, um, especially with its UV properties. It's an awesome little material for doing this. So I'm just going to tie this in at the end here, making sure that that little gap between the thread and the PTFE, that's where I want it to sit. If I cinch it down there, it's going to create a nice, smooth, tapered body. So I'm just going to tie that down in there now. Like so. See how it just tapers nicely into the lead? And then from there, pull it further down. And I'm happy, yeah, and I'm going to come right back up now to the head. I'm going to throw a little half hitch in there. Just so as the hook's on the angle, the thread doesn't slip off the eye and unravel itself. From here, it's, it's literally just a case of, of stretching that silly leg and wrapping the body. The more you stretch it, the thinner it is. So start off quite tight on the stretching. And then as you go up to the middle of the hook, all you want to do is just ease the tension off slightly. By doing this, it starts to get a little bit thicker as you work up. So you just push it with your thumb if there's a, a few gaps, it does move around. I'm just going to wrap up that PTFE body. And when I get so far, I'm going to straighten the hook back up again now. And continue wrapping. See how there's a bit of that white PTFE showing through? I'm just going to come back with a finger. Just nudge that back straight. No, I'm not happy with that actually. I'm going to go again. That's a key. Just take your time. There's no rush with these things. Make sure they're uh, 
they're all uniform nice covering wrap I'm going to go tighter again now to go towards the head just so it doesn't slip off that lead and it creates a nice thin profile into the head of the fly okay and just, just a little bit more thread to help build that taper up and then I'm going to come here with the last sheet wrap you can see the colour change slightly as I uh, increase the tension on the material and then as we're at the head here just secure that down with two or three turns a little bit fiddly passing it over the hands here and I'm just going to secure that down and make a nice neat tapered head big stretch here so you don't get left with a little uh, cut end underneath the thread <coughs> And then from here, just going to come in there with a whip finish tool once we've untangled it from all the silly legs we've uh, thrown on top of it. And we're going to uh, whip finish a nice tidy head here. Nano silk, we can lay flat, just pinch up and pull tight, perfect. And from here, just a nice tight trim. And that's our finished body. And on top of this now, we're just going to put some uh, clear resin. Starting off, putting it in the middle of the fly, and the same underneath. By putting it in the middle, you can work it outwards and keep working the resin with the taper you're trying to create. Try and clean all the rubbish off your, uh, your bobbin needle first, otherwise you get all bits of fluff stuck in your resin, as you'll see here. I'm just working that like a paint job. Just cover all the silly legs material. There you are, there's a bit of fluff. Get rid of that. And I'm just working this resin around the fly now. Making sure to create that taper. Gotta be mindful that as I work, the resin will obviously act with gravity and wherever the fly is, it's it's going to uh, it's going to run. So a few times you'll see I've just uh, just got to add a little bit more resin and build up. By applying to the bobbin needle first, you're obviously a bit more precise with things. And I can just apply directly to areas where I need a little bit more. Come underneath, clear that excess that's dropping down. Making sure to cover right the way down the butt end. It's normally the butt and the head that people uh, miss out with the resin. I'm just going to set that with the UV light. Now look at that UV action. This material, especially with the PTFE underneath it, really glows under a UV light. Such an awesome pattern, I think it's going to catch so many fish, particularly Grayley. I think I love this fly in this colour. And from here, I'm back again, resin onto the bobbin needle, and I'm just thinking about covering little areas there, like there's a little, little bump there. And a little bump in one or two other places. So I'm just going to reapply. Just so I'm happy and set again with the torch. I'm well happy with that. It's an awesome fly. It's, it's such a, a tight bodied. Uh, fast sinking fly. Especially in the small sizes. Top dropper. Brilliant fly. Especially in the depths of winter. So I hope you enjoyed that one. See you soon.